You found Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Have you ever wondered how pan sausage is made? In this video, I'm gonna show you how it's done so you can get started doing it yourself. <laughs> Making sausage takes me back to 1977. I graduated college at the end of 1976, and then I took a job teaching high school vocational agriculture in January of 1977. The Ag Department had some meat processing facilities. If some of the people in the community had either hogs or cattle that they needed processing, well, we would slaughter and then process the meat for a nominal fee. So sometimes we wound up making sausage. So that's where I got my exposure to it. The grocery store in the little town where I lived, you could buy the pork seasoning. That seasoning was Legs Custom Blended Pork Seasoning. They've actually been around since 1923, so this is good stuff. If you're around that long, you're doing something right. Typically throughout the year when I'm smoking or barbecuing and I've got ribs or any of the pork products, pork butts or whatever, you're generally gonna have some trimmings left. I throw those in a bag and label it, stick them in the freezer, and then when the time comes that we got some cold weather or cool weather like it is today, then it's time to get them out and make your pork sausage. The things that you need for pork sausage, it's ground pork, you add some fat, you add your seasoning, and typically it's helpful to add some water. So those are the things that we're gonna do. Fat is very important in sausage making because if you don't have fat, you're not making sausage. You just got ground pork that you threw some seasoning in. Fat helps maintain the correct moisture, flavor, and texture, and aids in the binding process. It's a very important ingredient. If you're adverse to eating fat, we'll just eat a smaller portion of the sausage because without it, you're not making sausage. Correct ratio of fat ranges between 25 and 40%. Our target, typically 30% is a good number. But if you're making it home like I am, you've just got a mishmash of the different ingredients. Well, really, you don't know for sure what your exact ratio is. Okay, in the process of making this sausage, you start with by just cutting your meat up into very small pieces. Uh, one to two inches cubes is perfect, but it's not always gonna be exact, so it's just cut it up the best you can do, and then you run it through the coarse grind, and then you add your seasoning and water, and then you run it back and grind it a second time through a 3 16th, a smaller grind. And when you get through, you got pan sausage. If you wanna take it another step, you get the sausage casings, you stuff them, and you smoke them you can use this exact same recipe for your smoked sausage. Good. Okay, I've got a combined total of 18.8 .8 pounds of sausage. I calculated out to uh, six ounces of the seasoning. I rounded it up to four cups of water, and that's ice water. Now the seasoning's gonna go in the water. I'll mix that up, and then the water will go into the sausage. Okay, doing it this way helps get your seasoning more evenly distributed into the meat. And also it'll absorb better into the meat. Now we get it mixed up. The water makes it all mix better. And this meat, I have chilled it in the refrigerator after I ran it through the coarse grind. So I've got it cold once again. It's a good day for sausage making around here. Okay, I've got everything run through 3 16th inch grinder. So this is pan sausage. So from here, you could either package it, label it, put it in the freezer, it's pan sausage. Or you can take it further and buy some sausage casing and stuff them and smoke them. And then you got smoked sausage. You can use the same formula that you use for your pan sausage. Main takeaways today, must have your fat content between 25 and 40% fat. If you add water, it greatly assists processing of it. It'll also help the structure of your sausage. 
But if you're gonna make smoked sausage, you have to be extremely careful that you don't overdo it because it can cause your uh, casings to uh, rip open. Pan sausage, you got a little more leeway. You need to use ice water. This accomplishes two things. It helps keep the meat cold while you're processing it. That's a win. And it gets the moisture content in there that you need. That's a win. So that's the basics of making pan sausage. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned a little something, be sure to hit that like button on your way out. I appreciate you watching. Hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>